Howdy everyone, Tasty here, and holy fuck, if you haven't guessed by the title of this episode, it is going to be jam-packed with that news from Nintendo Direct. Uh, you know, and that had just happened yesterday, it was somewhat fun. There are some, you know, games that they announced, Fighters for so Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and a lot more that we're going to go over here in this video. But before we get started, if you did like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, dislike is somewhere around there, remember to subscribe so that way you guys can get more videos just like this one. One. And remember, if you also want to become part of one of these videos, go ahead and send me a audio clip of you reading a news story that you found uh, to the email in the description below. Just make sure that you include the source of where you got the news, so that way I know where to cite you from. All right, enough of that. This video is going to be long enough, so why don't we go ahead and jump on in and get started here. Luigi's Mansion 3 gave us a look into the hotel and showing that each floor actually has their own themes. Plus, they showed off some of the multiplayer mode that was called Scream Park. Scream Park looked uh, like it was a mode where you and seven other people get to face off against each other. You guys are going to try to collect coins while the others try to stop you from getting those coins. Uh, the game comes out October 31st, uh, so we'll get a better look at it then. Trials of Mana is getting a remake all done in full 3D, as well as being able to choose from three different characters that you'll be able to customize their class that will give them a different look and play style. Even though the game isn't technically a Nintendo game ex uh, you know, it itself, it is nice to take a look at what third party people are putting out for the console, and fans can jump back into this game on April 24th. Little Town Hero, which is the new IP coming out from Game Freak, where, you know, we all know who they are. They're the makers of Pokemon. They showed off a little bit of the fighting for the game, which looks like a turn-based strategy RPG style game, uh, you know, but you're using ideas as your weapon. So from what I saw, they you had to actually match up the idea to the monster's attacks, so that way you can beat that monster down. And hell, even the townsfolk are going to get in on the action and help you out with this battle. And the game didn't look like it was a very long game by any means, so uh, I expect to, you know, I guess see more on October 15th when the game comes out. Damon X Machia is getting a prologue demo, which is pretty awesome because Marvelous Entertainment put out a demo earlier this year and it just didn't go over well with some of the fans. So Marvelous Entertainment kind of took that feedback and they ran with it. Um, some companies might have swept that underneath the rug, but Marvelous Entertainment actually put effort into implementing the feedback into the game. Your progress will actually carry over if you do like the game and want to buy it itself, um, so don't worry about losing any of that mech battle goodness. Go check out Damien X Machia right now the demo has already launched right after the direct so you can go see if you like any uh, you know big robot fights I know that's my jam September 13th is when the full game is actually coming out Pokemon showed off four features um, first uh, you can customize your character just like any other Pokemon game uh, then they showed off the camp system where you got the second and third features where one you can make curry and rice uh, which I guess that's cool. There's over 100 different recipes for curry on rice that you can make. You can then interact with your Pokemon, so that way you can you know make them love you a little bit more uh, in the game. The fourth one that they showed off is kind of a no-brainer. They just kind of went over some new Pokemon that the you know were for the game, and one of them you can even drink from them. That's a little weird to say out loud, but when writing it down, it seemed funny. Um, but either or, uh, it just kind of felt like the for the Pokemon show they showed off a little more than they should have for those four features, and that they were really showing off things that people weren't really asking for. They want to know more about what's going to happen, like what are the gyms look like what's the dino maxing like what's what other pokemon are going to be in the game uh how are you know you're going to be able to do cloud saves can you pull from pokemon go uh, can you pull from let's go like what are all those questions i guess we're going to find out more though because the game itself is going to be coming out on november 15th Animal Crossing New Horizons showed up, uh, and if you're a fan of the game, it kind of felt a little still when looking at it. And what I mean by that is that it looked like they took the mobile version of the game and kind of just put it, uh, you know, some aspects of it on the console. Uh, the camping and house system kind of looks like it came straight out of the game, just with tweak graphics a little bit. I was hyped about the game, but now more of an uh, let's wait and see what else they say for the game. I wasn't, I just wasn't that impressed with what they showed off for the game. Uh, the crafting system, the building system, being able to play with other people were all stuff that were in 
previous games, so they didn't really show off anything new that this game is doing. Uh, we will find out more, though, as the time goes on, because we got a little bit before this comes out. It comes out on March 20th of 2020, and I'm sure they're going to give us a lot more info to make us actually hype for the game. And this one was a shocker. It ended up at the end of the direct here. Um, Xenoblade Chronicles, uh, the definitive edition, is coming to the Switch. This game is one of the biggest and best RPGs of the Wii era, so it's going to be nice that Nintendo is kind of pulling from uh, you know that console. So it gives me hopes that we can get things from the N64 era and maybe the GameCube and stuff like that. Uh, and it's just great to see that they are reaching back and pulling that forward, and not just something other than. And, you know something that's coming off the Wii U considering there's only two games they haven't actually ported over from there so hopefully we can get a few of those GameCube remakes I'm looking forward to this game and seeing what else they have to say about it and they all they said was that the game is going to be coming out next year I have to say my favorite part of the Nintendo Direct last night was actually learning that SNES games are going to be out uh, for the, uh, the Switch. They're already out, and I've been playing Super Metroid, and it runs amazing on there here. Uh, the instant library that they gave you of 20 games is just nice to kind of go through. And just like they did last year where you got the, SNE, or the NES controller, they're going to actually release an SNES controller for $30. There's no pre-order yet, um, but if you do want a controller that's ripped straight out out of the 90s and that's probably going to be something you want to keep a lookout for because they are expected to ship uh, on September 18th. The Direct started with Blizzard showing off uh, you know, Overwatch for the Switch. It's also getting a few goodies here with it, you, uh, such as you know, uh, three months of Nintendo Online, the Noir uh, Widowmaker, 31 Heroes, 8, 28 maps, and as well as you know, uh, 15 skins with hundreds and more to unlock, which I'm betting those hundreds more to unlock are actually part of the microtransaction system for the game, but we'll have to l wait and see uh, you know, for that one. But it was nice to see that they did add motion controls for the game, and it is nice to see you know, just a third-party uh, creators such as um, you know uh, Blizzard use things that are mainly used for first party titles that Nintendo puts out. Um, we'll have to see what else this game actually has to offer here on October 15th. Return of Obrara Don, uh, Den, uh, and I'll, you can see the name right on the screen, but anyway, it's making its way to the Switch this fall. If you missed out on the game on any other platforms, you can go ahead and pick this up and take it on the go now. No exact release date has been confirmed for the game, but it is a great game with a different art style, so you should definitely give it a look to keep those indies alive on the actual Switch here. Um, you play actually play as a detective with re rewind powers, um, and you use them to try to figure out what happened to the missing crew of a ship. Uh, so this will be coming out, like I said, in fall of this year. Looking forward to hearing more about this one. Doom 64 is making its way to the hybrid console, which I thought this game was just kind of lost, uh, you know, never to come off of the N64. Um, but now we're actually coming to the Switch in November, and the 22nd to be exact. I had already released the older ones for the eShop already, so it's going to be nice to kind of see this. And they did looks like they actually brightened up the game to make it a little easier to see. Um, so again, November 22nd is when you can play some classic Doom 64. Ubisoft is remaking Assassin's Creed Black Flag, um, which is one of, just one of my favorite Assassin's Creed games of all time for the series. They're also pairing it with Assassin's Creed Rogue and a Rebel Collection. I've never played Rogue, but it would be nice to get that in a Rebel Collection on December 6th and make a great holo holiday present from my fiancé to myself. Wink, wink. <laughs> and I just can't wait to start selling the seas more and collecting all that booty in Black Flag. And like I said, I've never played Rogue, so it'd be fun to play that on December 6th as well. There were two Star Wars games that were announced yesterday coming to the Switch. One happened during the actual Direct, which was Star Wars Jedi Knights 2 uh, Outcast, um, which is coming actually pretty soon on September 24th. And then Jedi Academy, which is coming sometime next year, uh, actually is you know coming to the Switch as well, and that's pretty cool because it did like Jedi Academy, so it'd be nice to check that out. I didn't really get to, to play Jedi Knights 2, um, but it'll be nice to check it out when it does come out on September 24th. I bet you're wondering, uh, hey, didn't they show off some Smash Brother characters? Well, if they did show off some Smash Brother characters, are they letting us know when Banjo-Kazooie is coming? 
Well, if not, what's going on? Well, concerned viewer, let me tell you, they did show off uh, Banjo-Kazooie, and it was uh, great. It already is out, so if you have the Battle Pass, or not the Battle Pass, but the Fighter Pass for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, you can play as Banjo-Kazooie right now. They also showed off Terry from uh, Fatal Fury uh, coming to the Switch in November, so that's going to be awesome. November's going to be packed with a lot of stuff, and they even said that after they're done with their fish, fifth fighter for the fighter packs that they are actually going to come out with some more fighters and hopefully we can get that roster up to 100 baby all right and this next part wasn't actually in the direct but they kind of showed off uh, more how uh, banjo plays after the direct was over and you can actually take your me that you create for the game and upload it online download other people's and then they came out with some awesome costumes that you're seeing here play out right now um so it's actually something that uh you know i'm looking forward to here uh, and i love super smash brothers and i've been playing as banjo a little bit and and he plays pretty good um, so go play as Banjo right now look forward to Terry in November and you can buy those customizable costumes for your me right now for 75 cents a pop lastly here let's talk about some shadow drops that came out yesterday we got Super Kirby uh, Clash which is was the first shadow, shadow drop and happened like the right after the first game was shown off which was overwatch um, and it looks kind of cool. It's you and seven other people going into dungeons and beating up old Kirby uh, enemies. It's a whole free-to-play game, so there's a lot of microtransactions that were kind of built into the game. But if it's something that you want to check out, go ahead. And it's in the eShop. It's available now. Another one that they dropped was Divinity uh, 2, uh, the Definitive Edition. Uh, and that, you know, if you do like RPGs from the early to late 90s, uh, then this game is definitely going to be for you. And it does actually seem like the Switch more caters to those kind of audience because we have old school nerds such as myself that has been playing Nintendo games since I was five years old. Um, and kind of younger kids that are getting brought into it from their parents such as me, you know, letting them play it and you know eventually probably getting them switch lights and that kind of thing so this is awesome kind of uh, games to see come over i love old school 90 type games like this and obsidian did an awesome job on definity uh, 2 uh, go check that out it's in the eShop right now if i didn't miss any shadow drops which i don't think i did i think i got most of them going throughout the rest of the video but if i did miss any go ahead and leave those down in the comments below so that way i know uh, what's going on there Alright guys, well, that's our video for today. I just wanted to kind of cover the stuff that was shown off in the Nintendo Direct there for you. Um, it looked, you know, some of it was cool, some of it uh, not so much. Uh, you know, going into the Direct itself, I was thinking, uh, that's that's nice and all. Like, we're going to get a Direct, we're going to see some awesome stuff from some of the games. And maybe learn some more about Pokemon and Luigi's Mansion that's going to be coming out pretty soon, which we did. It's just, it felt like a lukewarm uh, cup of water. Uh, it, to put it more in perspective for you, it's like you begging your parents over and over again for a toy when you were a kid, and you got the toy, you played for it a little bit, but found the box more interesting than the toy. Um, you know, going out and actually playing some of the games that they shadow dropped were more interesting than actually watching this the direct, and which is kind of weird because I like watching the direct and learning what they have coming out. I find it kind of exciting to see some of the stuff that is coming out, you know, like The Witcher 3 and um, a few other games that they said that are going to be coming out that I escape my head right now. So I do want to know what you guys thought down in the comments below, so it would be awesome if you uh, went, went down there and let me know what you guys thought about anything that was in the video or anything else that I missed from the direct because it was too big to kind of cover everything in it, uh, you know, this video. Uh, also, I want to do a quick shout out to the YouTubers Discord server that I'm a part of. It's an awesome place if you like to make uh, YouTube videos, uh, yeah, I would check it out. I'm going to leave a link in the description for anybody that wants to come join who's into making uh, YouTube videos about games or likes to, uh, you know, to talk about games or anything along those lines. Um, we'd love to have you uh, come uh, check it out. It's a great place with some great people that are always willing to you know, help you out if you do need 
um, something there. I also want to, uh, you know, shout out a couple of them each uh, time I do a video. So I'm going to leave a link in the description for a couple of them that I'm just going to randomly pick from because a lot of them are great. I've subscribed to a lot of them because I do enjoy a lot of their content from Let's Plays to going over videos and um, you know, just kind of seeing what people uh, put out from there is really great. Uh, I'm going to stop rambling here and cut the video right there. As always, my name is Tasty. I want you guys to also have a, a wonderful game night.